Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Love you guys, thanks for coming on over today. I have this book that I would really like to finish today and I thought I'd bring you guys all along. I grabbed this magazine and I thought, you know what, let's just use some of this in here to finish it off because this is kind of a glue book. It's kind of a junky mess and I just kind of want to get it finished. It's a lot of fun though, I have to say. But I've got like this with nothing on it. And it's like, ah, I got this part on it. I made these, but it's like, what do I do with this? Now I got to write on it. <laughs> so this is a junk journal. To qualify it, there has to be some writing in here. <laughs> I have a problem with terminology. I'm too literal sometimes. So journal means there's writing. So can we call this a junk journal <laughs> or not? I'm just like, not sure. <laughs> If there's not any writing in it. It has to have writing in it. So here I am with this book and my glue and some scissors and something to push down stuff. And I've got a rag over here. And let's just look in here and see if there's anything. I got a couple ideas already, but let's just, whoa. <laughs> Woo! This is Southern Living June 2021. So yeah. So if I want purple, there's purple. And I, these are, this kind of magazine is a great magazine for culling for colors to put in my folders, my color colors. Holy cow. My colored uh, folders. So once it, wow, that's going to go in the orange. I might as well do that one. Oh, and then there's blue too. So what I do when I've got a little bit of each, cut it in half. Blue folder, orange folder, right? And might as well get this too. And I, you know what? I really should have a teal one. Let's see, again here. Let's, uh, this isn't what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do coloring yet. But I can do this part in the purple. And this part, that part in the blue. But yeah, I've got a lot of teal already so I don't know what to do she looks like she's having fun she's catching a frisbee no way well that would be fun wouldn't it <laughs> going frisbee in on your sea do so anyway going through going through what would be I need a cover and I have a, one other page coffee make the, uh, this black I'm kind of running out of black so I'm going to put that over there in season pep rally. Look at those yummy peppers. Okay, no, no. Oh, patterns. I do like that. Isn't that fun? Patterns, fine prints. Atlanta, Rochelle Porter. Oh, yeah, there's an article in here about Rochelle Porter. Uh, yeah, she left a life of corporate something or other and ended up becoming a designer. So that's a possibility for pages right here that's her and she's she doodled all her life and uh she wanted to uh just kind of go and do that after she i don't even does it say what she did before she was oh what did she say she did i don't remember uh oh, i'm not gonna read it right now but designs for abundant living is what she does now and she does this and this too not pretty. I like that right there. So, okay. I've got, that's good. I like that. Oh, is this more her? No, this is gift, gift guide. Oh, that's a gift guide. This isn't her. This is just a gift guide they have in season. So that's nothing. I like the little flag for 4th of July. Oh, look at her face. She's a face I could put in there. Swimsuits, no. These bottles would be good for collage, wouldn't they? Make people a lot of them. Kitties. So that pile. Oh, books. This pile over here has focal points, we'll say. Like that chair. And then this, I've got so much of this stuff. I don't need another one of those. Sneezing lady. What else can I put? Um, I like the word natural and the choice is simple. Um, 
Oh, that's really serene. Green. What else? Let's see, I'm thinking what's on my cover, what's for my cover. Oh, that's serene as well. And a puppy. I've got this already. Fear no toddler. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Oh, that's fun. Faces. The South. Anything under the sun. Ron John. Oh, that's pretty. Focal points. Okay, I've got enough stuff, I think. Oh, that's cool. A ah, skeptical child. I've used that door in my um, quotes journal. Camper by the sea. Oh, that looks so wonderful. I could get off on that for a little while. Sit there and just relax. Okay, I'm going to stop going through here because I could find more. But I'm going to put that aside and let's look at my... Let's see, let's look at what I pulled out. So, let's get a ruler. I like this picture, what's on the other side? Oh, I like that picture too though. I like this one better. Making choices as we go. This would be a pretty cover. Mississippi, west to east. Oh, that kind of looks nice. Let's give it a background. Um, let's give it a background of, let's see. Let's trim the edge. I like the rough edge, but I don't know if I can, <laughs> I don't know if I have the dexterity to, Trim it with the ruler because that's a small edge. And then what should I call this one? It's so messy and it's so junky and it's put together with paper and glue. No, there might be some tape in there. But yeah, it's an, ooh, that is really rough and rugged. I like it. Okay, time to pull out... Well, maybe let's use this, use this dark black to start tearing some of this stuff. And some gold. That's pretty. Look at that. Just that little, those little flecks of light in there. So I've got some black. I like this big, big three times better. Wouldn't that make a fun doll? And put a head on her and maybe my big, big glue book. Okay, should we give this some texture like we tried before? Where's my sanding block? Okay. Where's my sand, sanding block? And let's get a stencil. Let's try one of these. Let's try this one. It's just smaller. Okay, let's let's see. Put it on the top. Let's see what we see what we get at, what we can come up with. Let's zoom it. Zoomy it. Let's see what we come up with. Interesting, isn't it? It's a thing. And this one. Almost looks like fish scales. To wipe down my desk. I don't get the sanding block does that. It just gives a little grit everywhere. Okay, doing good. All right. So what does this mean for me here? Doing that. Okay. 
Okay, arranging how. Just like that, what about that? How does that look? That's not bad, just like that. Okay, and then I need to title it something. I don't know what, but I'll leave a little space right here to do the title. What do you say? That sounds good? Okay, gluing it down. Let's get um, a phone book. center a little wonky this whole book is a little wonky so no rhyme or reason just kind of gluing things down seeing what happens with the end result sometimes that's just how we roll that looks good okay You know, with these glue books, sometimes I just need to make decisions and finish the page. I don't want to be too caught up in the process. And there's other times for that. But I'm kind of in the finishing things mode. Just finishing things. Okay, what are we looking at? It's way off kilter, way off center. No matter to me. But it's really pretty. I like it. It's very subtle. And I like this background, too. And it's got, like, ripped. You know, it was laying on paper and it pulled it off the wet paint. I'll have to find a title for it of some sort. Okay, now I've got this inside thing right here and it's a whole bunch of messy stuff. So I think I'm gonna get some paint and now after I glue down this book page here, I don't think that's gonna stay. But I'm gonna get a little paint and just kinda smudge it. And I've got a pocket right here, but I don't think I wanna put anything in there. Uh, that was my original intent, but so white paint, uh, maybe sky blue. Let's just be fun with some sky blue. Let's just use this as a palette. Do a little sky blue. Since we got a kind of a blue theme on here already, and I should have shaken that. I should have, would have, didn't. And I've got sponges. Let's just use a sponge. Yeah, I've got a whole pack of these. Let's just cohesivize this. I think I just made up a new word, cohesivize. And then I don't know what I'm going to put on here. So which one of those pictures do you think would go good? I kind of like anything nature-wise. So we'll see if I can do that. I just kind of threw all kinds of paint down, or not paint, but tissue paper, layered them, did the little drawing on this other piece of tissue, and then this grape doesn't match at all. I don't know why I stuck it on here. But we'll just mush it all together and see if I can make it a little bit more of a real page. You know, these paints are great because they're cheap, but they get all these goobies in here. And they end up in your in your project. And that's and I forget to clip to scrape it off before I use it for painting. And, um, yeah. Okay, good enough. Good enough. I know I got blue fingers, which is fine. No worries. Okay, so I like this nature picture, but it's sort of big. Hey, maybe I could use the word natural for the cover. Or the choice is simple. Those are some words for the cover, possible. Or breathing room. Breathing room. Ah, I don't know. Let's use these books. Yeah. We can use these books for something. Maybe we can put one of the cats on sitting on the books. Should we do that? That's always fun. Can you add add uh, inanimate objects, and then add something animate. 
a person sitting on books, an animal sitting on books. But I want to add something else too. Maybe that chair. Maybe that chair would go. Yeah, just kind of winging it today. Could do that. That is a beautiful room. Now look at that wallpaper. It's like clouds. I don't know if that would stand the test of time though in my world. Got that checkered one. Yeah, this is more my style. Pretty plain. Wow, a little mid-century modern on that. I kind of like it. Find edge. So how many books do you guys have already in process that you would like to finish? <laughs> um, I have several that I have started. There is many more to finish. But I you know, there's just, I have like, um, I have closure issues. So I need to do things. I need to have things finished. Let's add, add the bookshelf, add some the bookshelf here. Beautiful spaces for a better life. And then where's those cats? Let's see, this one's right here. How about you, kitty kitty? Sitting now, just perfectly ready to sit on a stack of books. Right, yeah, pretty little kitty. Art magazine's wonderful. Oh, yeah, my friend gave me a whole bunch of these Southern Living magazines. And I do need to call. They are taking up a lot of space in my craft room. And I haven't done a lot of glue booking lately. You know how, how we, we alter our creativity just to keep it fresh. And so, yeah, glue booking's kind of put to the side. Although I still enjoy it. But we kind of do these things and set them aside. <laughs> and then you kind of forget about them. All my painted papers... I paint them, leave them, and then come back to them later. There we go. How's Kitty doing that? There we go. I like it. Should I put another cat in that chair? Can I find can one of these fit in the chair? Let's see. This one right here. This little one. Blissful belly. Cat food. Anybody else think that the animal food industry is kind of bogus? You know, I see these commercials for, for um, like this refrigerated dog food. And, and it says made with real meats and made with real this and real that. I'm like, so why not just feed them your, your food? If you, if you have good food that you eat for yourself, why not just feed your animal good food too? Really look into that and find out. My mother-in-law, she makes some of her food for her, for her dog. Because um, she has learned that, uh, that um, her, her dog has these allergies. So he, he can't... See, I'm trying to find something else for this cat because he's just kind of floating in the chair. Wouldn't a ball of yarn be nice right about now? Uh, nothing right in my pictures that I grabbed. Oh, I should put this like on the wall as a, like, a, making a living room scene, I guess. So yeah, her dog was having having intestinal issues and they linked it back to the food that 
the dog food she was eating and she was buying some good stuff. I think it was some of this, um, this blue, this Buffalo blue she was feeding him and, and he, he had really, she spent a lot of money on vet bills trying to figure out what was going on in his stomach. So she decided I'm just going to start making, making this food. And when she makes her chicken, she just leaves some plain and she left, she puts them aside for him. Or is it a her? It's a girl. It's a girl dog. Well, I should know that. Sweet dog too. Well, I can't figure out what to do with this cat because it's kind of floating. It's kind of silly. Anyway, so let's start gluing things down. That's just a thought I had. Yeah, and I know that they use a lot of fillers in the animal foods and yeah, and you get what you pay for though, true. Yeah, let's see. Let's put this down first and work around it. Yeah, anyway. I know our fur babies are very important to us. And I know that they will live a lot longer if you take care of them. I kind of like it this way though. No, I need to go this way. No, I need to go this way. <laughs> How did I have that? <laughs> That was my arrange original arrangement here. Let me put this down. Yeah, we had outdoor dogs and we fed them junky, you know, for a while we fed them junky dog food, you know, the big box kind that was not checked, not balanced, not, you know, not very well processed, of course, and then and they had some issues. We did end up with buying some more expensive stuff, and that seemed okay. And some of the stuff my dogs would eat just grossed me out mostly, but. And they'd get worms, and they'd have to get them dewormed, and all kinds of stuff. Oops. All right, cat, you're going on there and you kind of don't even fit, you're kind of too big. But I'm just doing this to get it done. And it's kind of fun, it's kind of fun. Where's the, and this little cat, I'm gonna stick him down and if I find something later to put with him, he's like stuck in the cushion, getting stuck in the cushion. Okay, so that's something. It's just a collage -y type thing with magazine, magazine images. I do like family on there. set it on the bottom okay just having a little bit of fun today if I find anything else I might add oops to it it's still got stuck on my gluey finger all right so that's something where am I at 25 minutes that's kind of fun so I got a cover and I got this first page done. Like these little hearts. I might put some more hearts around. I don't know. Okay, you guys. So that's a couple things that I that I got this this book done about. Yeah, that this front page was just bugging me. I didn't like any. I didn't like the how it was flowing. So covering it up makes it a lot better. 
And he's, the cat's kind of hanging out there off the edge. Can I get him rounded off right here? Maybe a little better. There, doesn't look like he's all pointy right there. Okay, guys. So I will figure out a cover for this or a, a title for this book and, and finish it off and do a flip through of it uh, soon because um, I'm getting close. I'm getting close to getting this one done. And, yep, here, here you go. This page left blank intentionally just because I'm lazy and I don't want to paint the back. <laughs> Is that bad? But this was just an experiment to begin with. So it's a bag and it's all the pages are put together with paper strips. And so it's not really, yeah, it's not a real secure kind of book, but it's still fun. It's still fun. Anyway, all right guys, that's it for this video. Uh, maybe you played along, that would have been great. Um, I am having fun playing, finishing this book, book up and I'll have flip through this one. And my other couple other books coming up, I'll have flip, flip throughs of those two. I'm finishing things and it makes me happy because that means I can start new stuff. Yay. All right, you guys, take care. I love you. I hope you're finding some way to uh, create your intrinsic value today, whatever that is. And uh, we will see you next time. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.